Elizabethtown man dies after police say his wife beat him with a cane, and now she's been indicted for his murder. Aaron Haynes spoke with the couple's neighbors today and joins us now live in the newsroom with what happened. Aaron? Rick, neighbors describe a bloody scene on the sidewalk in front of their rooms at the E-Town Motel where 65-year-old James Carson came knocking, looking for help after police say he was beaten with a cane. I heard a noise out here and when I came outside there he was laying there on the sidewalk all bloody and everything. You know? I kind of looked down and there he laid and I recognized him as being the gentleman from the room beside us. And I said, what in the world happened to you? And she, he said, she hit me. Neighbors say 65-year-old James Carson left a bloody path from the room he lived in at the E-Town Motel as he tried to get help. I guess he crawled or whatever. There was blood all over everything, you know. There was blood on the walls, just a, a big path, a big swatch. And then when he got here, um, you could tell that he had an injury to the back of his head, and it pulled just two big puddles of blood right in front of our doorway. It got on our doorstep, on our door, where he had reached up and had tapped on our door. According to a police report, on the evening of April 7th, James Carson was struck three times with an aluminum cane, causing serious injury, bleeding, knots, and cuts to his head. Carson's wife, 65-year-old Ethel Riley, was arrested that night and charged with assaulting her husband. Neighbors say they never suspected trouble between the two. The people were quiet. We never heard anything from them. We never heard them fighting. Yeah, it seemed like a pretty nice old guy, you know. I talked to him a few times. You know, you know everybody's, you know, his neighbors here, and just for something like this to happen, it's just unbelievable. And especially just right beside us, it's just unreal. Carson died a week later at University Hospital. Now Ethel Riley has been indicted for murder and her husband's death. Live in the newsroom, Aaron Haynes, WLKY News. Thank you, Aaron. Ethel Riley is also charged with tampering with physical evidence. According to police, Riley attempted to clean up the blood at the scene after at the E-Town Motel. Police say to hide the crime scene.